We got all these 5,000 tweets. Yeah, you, you are, this is like, and it's still going for what I believe. Like, you're not gonna, you, your mind's gonna be blown with all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, because that's I going know on. nothing about this. You are literally presenting this to me. Like, I have uh -huh. no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah me cool. too. <laughs> I thought this guy was a baseball player when we were first talking about him. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, who is he? I don't know. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Eva and with me as always we have the sassy bunny. Hello. And we got the righteous Zoli store. Righteous? Oh my god. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying to like do some sort of like, you know, how they you know, like introduce boxes and stuff like that. I should have had like theme music for both of you to so walk in. And then the right corner we have. Wait, did I say right corner? Blue corner? I don't know. Like, Whatever. I don't watch boxing. I don't obviously. Either. Not Whatever. anymore. I used to. Wait, I think I was just describing. um wrestling anyway but it... <laughs> it's all the same there's men hitting each other so, yeah men hitting yeah. each other beating each other up either way you know, boxing ufc wrestling doesn't matter yeah they're yeah. all yeah they're all pretty slappy much, much. yeah slappy slap um <laughs> yeah so <laughs> today um we're looking into um this dude um he's been popping up a little bit over twitter um going off essentially um he is uh his name is ryan garcia have you heard of ryan garcia before guys I have not. No. I got followed by Ryan Garcia fan page, and I clicked on it, and the guy was retweeting baseball stuff. So I oh. thought he was a baseball player. <laughs> That's yeah. why you thought it was baseball. All right. Yeah. Well, this guy, <laughs> well, this guy is a professional boxer. Um, he basically held the the World Boxing um Council like interim lightweight title in 2021. Oh. Okay. And he was um in May 23, he was the um world's fourth best active lightweight um and seventh best and eighth best so he's like up there with all the all the welterweights and um lightweight titles of boxing so he's he's pretty um pretty well known in the boxing community he's a professional right and through um but we're looking more into um what's going on recently so um he comes from a, a big family um, he's basically had a lot of amateur um, career and then he left high school before um, it was finished so he, um, to do boxing. So he, that's how like, young he was when he went up in his career. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he's, he's got a, he's Mexican. He's got a Mexican heritage. So he puts that into his persona. He always wears like the, the red, white and blue colors and um, stuff as well. Red, white so, and green. Um, well, let's, let's have wear red, white and blue flags and green i guess yeah he carries both the mexican and u.s flag ah the green, gotcha usually, gotcha so. okay oh, now yeah. i understand what you're saying all right, all right yeah cool. yeah yeah he also did brazilian jiu-jitsu as oh. well and um this year yeah this year in january he had his third child um of a, a little boy he was born um just hours before he announced the divorce of his wife oh so God. yeah he had a bit of a, a kicked to the guts at the start of the year so that was um yeah. pretty pretty um harsh for him but um generally like R ryan did a lot of social media usage like he used to have a like he's very well known on social media like he did a lot of drumming up his fights and trash talking the competition he has like over 10 million followers on his instagram and like another four hundred fifty thousand plus on twitter oh wow yeah so it's pretty pretty large that way he's yeah his timeline started to change a little bit with the news of the split of his wife on january 7th um he announced that he was divorcing his wife of three years um, and in like he deleted that Instagram post um, pretty much straight after and yeah it came just after they gave birth so um, oh. we're gonna go through when it started going a little bit sideways on the on the tweets here okay let um, me pull up the first one yeah pull up the first one so okay. like the dates on my end may be a little bit off because I'm in the future yeah like if I'm in the wrong they're probably they're probably the right dates when you pull them up so that'll be good <laughs> But um yeah, with Ryan Garcia, like the first 
tweet that he sort of brought out on March 1st was, um, I'm bringing truth and honesty into the world with no filter and I'm the bad guy. Lol, that's sad. You guys hate truth, we know. Most are hypocrites were doing worst things. I used to be a liar too. And so it's kind of like, what? It's hmm. kind of cryptic, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so a Call couple of days time. later. Yeah, yeah. A couple of days later, his um, ex-wife posted um, a story to her IG and it was like, to all my followers who are believers, can you please pray for Ryan? We are not together and I've been in contact with him and he may seem fine, but he's not. I know in my heart he is being heavily oppressed. This is not a troll. I'm genuinely concerned and so is all his family members. We are not a part of any of this and want him to get better, but this is real. Pray for him. <gasps> is he like, like having a manic episode or something? Well, that's kind yeah. of the general consensus because it's kind of looking like he's having a bit of a breakdown almost. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like he had a lot of like tweets and deletes during that period, um, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, the the next tweet, um, he decides to put out like a, a little video. Um, so this is kind of describing what has been going through so far this month. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. Uh, I'm coming on here to explain what's going on. I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. My cards are locked, and I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. And uh, I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans and family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. And, you know, I've, they try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but um, just know I'm okay. Look. Wait, so did so, he get... Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This no, is just, you ask your question. Ask your question. Did he get put into a facility or something? Well, no. That's the thing. Like, he's, for some reason, he started saying, like, well, I, I can't access anything. No one's talk, calling me back. Like, my, my things are getting cancelled. My accounts are frozen. Is like, what's going like on? the beginning of some kind of conservatorship or something? Is somebody taking control of this stuff? Well, that's the thing. There's been no um, talk about conservatorships or having him in anywhere or anything like that. It yeah. was just because he kind of went a little bit nuts on twitter and all of a sudden you can't access anything so um yeah this this weird. next bit here is gonna give you a bit more insight about what's what's going on so huh. um boxer ryan garcia claims the elites tied him up in the woods and what? forced him to watch little kids get r-worded bohemian grove is real he held the World Boxing Council interim lightweight title in 2021. As of May 23, he's ranked the world's fourth best active lightweight by the Ring magazine. And so this here, this first little video, mm -hmm. is Orion Garcia in a Twitter spaces with Andrew Tate. And they're talking a little bit more about this. Okay. All right. Hey, bro. All right. Talk to us. Bro, I don't give a f bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get I don't give a f anymore where bro they took me to the woods bro and they tied i'm not okay i just would like to say i feel sorry for whoever edits this i don't know if it's gonna be me or eva but ooh, okay I'm joking bro <laughs> yeah. i have proof bro i don't give a bro i will show you every video you could ever believe bohemian grove is real they tied me down and they made me watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a f anymore. Yes, I lost it. They're being little kids. He doesn't want to take us all. So let's go. Come on, Ryan. He doesn't want to take us all. Come on, fuck this guy. Bro, this dude, dude. Who? Who? Bro, you, you know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a. I don't give a f They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, oh. that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part no, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me. 
You have proof of these give... things. On... You have proof of this on your phone. Yes, of course I do. The f are you talking about? Of course, if Alex could get a f video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to get you out of it? I can help. Well, bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, well, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. Okay. He mm. is in. He sounds mentally unwell. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so here's, here's a bunch of like tweet and deletes that he did as well. So, you know, please send help, pray, send prayers. I'm calling all prayer warriors. Then if they kill me, it wasn't me. Are uh, the people going to get behind me or let them kill me? That's the real question. Let Ryan die or help me. Are you guys the cr you guys the crazy ones? Because I'm not lying. They're hurting kids and everyone is standing back telling me to shut up. I don't care anymore. I'll die for innocent souls taken. If you aren't on my side, you're on the devil's side. Oh. They held me down and they made me watch. Of course, I've lost it a little. They really begged me to join and I said, you hmm. so he's describing an experience that he had supposedly um with uh bohemian grove and these elites that um wanted him to, jo to join like the higher elites I allegedly don't, i i think he's losing it i'm sorry mm -hmm. it sounds like to me he's losing it yeah yeah that's the yeah. general consensus but, but maybe that. that's what they want you to think is that he's losing it well no yeah, i actually too, think he's losing <laughs> it. yeah i think he's losing it yeah i think he's losing it but i think that's what he would say he'd be like y'all think i'm crazy it's because that's mm. what they want you to think yeah exactly yeah so he continues on and says it just keeps rolling in y'all don't have to believe they took me here but i don't have to prove anything to you you are the ones that their whole family family has been threatened so apparently there's like this um video here of bohemian grove but people weren't most to see it it was like taking place in two, year 2000 alex jones actually um was the one that exposed and leaked it so it was like where hundreds of high-ranking elites were wore robes and took part of a ritual and included like famous politicians and stuff like that it's a, a long video we don't i don't really want to watch it because we can't yeah, we don't have to goes on yeah but um yeah it basically just shows like a whole bunch of people gathered around um with like fire and robes and it just it's just a weird looking thing right yeah um so there comes more like nonsensical posts to that as well the next one was basically just saying like uh june 6 earthquake bad and it's like what what is what does this even mean so after all like that kind of weird post it kind of went back to like right um game face and he started talking about the um the fight again so there are people like in the comments saying that he pulled a kanye to drum up the fight yeah which is a really weird way to drum up the fight right so mm -hmm. he's there saying, like, I'm not the crazy one. It's the people that know what I'm saying are, are silent. Those are cowards and lazy ones. And then he went to say, I, Ryan Garcia, will not be speaking or tweeting or writing anything other than my fight, boxing and sports. All topics of discussion will be discussed after my fight. Five weeks of focus. You have my word. I'm locked in. See you all for 20. So it's like he kind of went, right, I am not talking about this anymore. I'm all into my fight now. And then like a few tweets started being a bit more about fights. But that didn't last long at all. Cinco called Bryce Hall and asked him about the drama with Ryan Garcia. What are you doing right now? I'm streaming. What do you think? Uh, rack on black, you gambler. Oh, wait, are you at Red Rock? Yeah, I'm at Red Rock. Oh, okay, I just doxed you, but it's cool. Um, we have a lot of good memories there. But uh, we're looking at you like, bro, like people are getting... People are mad at you on Twitter. Oh yeah, I know, I see it. Um, what do you, what's going on? Um, the bat crazy man and Holder are apparently uh, trying to switch the narrative on themselves on me. Oh wait, so is he fighting Bryce Hall? No. So what is, what has this got to do with Bryce Hall? I'll let you know in a second. Oh, okay. Oh. What's your beef? Like, who, who's Taylor Hall? Is he a TikToker? Like, do you? Yeah, he's a TikTok cowboy dancer. Okay. Um, and Ryan... He got, he got, like, blacklisted from L.A., moved out, switched out his old identity, dropped by all his friends, and moved to Nashville for a new identity. Okay. Um, all right, and Ryan, like, what's going on with him? Is he is he drinking? Is he on coke? Like, what's going on? 
It's definitely some drug, but I've never taken the drug that he's on, so I can't tell you exactly what he's on. But, but uh, you okay. don't think he's exposing the elites <laughs> in the Bohemian Grove and exposing Epstein's documents? Dude, he watched one Shane Dawson video from 2014 about conspiracy theories, and now he's going off because he's on this crazy <laughs> Oh, oh my God. I mean, you know, I can't stand Bryce Hall, but I'm kind of, I'm on my line of thinking with Bryce Hall here. Uh, I'm not yeah. going to lie, and I can't stand him. Okay, uh, what about Sean? Sean Strickland's calling you out, too. No, Sean Strickland wants to film a TikTok with me now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, when's he going to drop? I, I don't know. I just I tweeted back at him because he said he wanted to film a TikTok, and I quoted it, and I said, when are we doing this TikTok? Yeah, I was surprised. He said he respected me, and then he called me, and he told his fans not to watch my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is what it is, but Twitter's really funny right now, and you're getting caught in the middle of it, I'm getting caught in the middle of it. Uh, it's, it's hard to make out what to what to believe. I mean, if, if anyone believes that sh they're just as stupid as Ryan Garcia and, and Taylor Holder, honestly. If I was if I was one of those, I wouldn't be outspoken about those. Okay. When are you going to, are you going to fight any? Like, do you have a fight coming up? Um, I don't have a exact date yet, but yeah, I do have a fight coming up. Um, oh. Everyone wants yeah, he's when fighting. Did, when did he become a fighter? I oh, didn't know that. He's been doing <laughs> he's been doing fights, but I just don't know much about it. I just knew he was fighting uh, people. Yeah. Well, my bad. No, yeah, that's all good. I don't know who he fought, so I mean, I only knew mm. a bit of the information. <laughs> Be to fight Taylor Holder, um, but no, I would I would run that in the street with him bare knuckle. Any 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 time I see him, if he wants to keep that same energy, same with Ryan Garcia, hundred percent. All right, Bryce, be safe out there. It's good to see you again, man. All right. This is where Bryce Hall comes in, right? So Ryan Garcia posted another thread of now-deleted tweets, this time to accuse Bryce Hall of messing with underage kids. So what? Ryan, Yeah, Ryan demanded that he be taken to the Supreme Court so he could defend these claims. So in these tweets, he's like, take me to the Supreme Court and I'll defend these claims. I'll go out of my way to defend every single one of these claims. Go to court, stand before a judge and prove every single one of these claims. Bryce Hall, sorry to do this um, to you, but apologize for messing with underage kids. Remember Taylor showed me, told me and showed me. You need to repent and stop hiding behind TikTok and its clout. Oh, So he's like there, like, you know, saying that he's doing all this that's crazy dang and did i put he's the one where bryce hall's bryce hall's status the next one because it's true ryan was with me on epstein's island we got recruited to the illuminati together and did a blood sacrifice while worshiping satan he tried to leave the cult and now is getting exposed by the masses oh my god so he, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> He's like uh, playing into it, really, isn't he? Like, I feel like the Illuminati, if they're real, they probably wouldn't want to recruit somebody that gets hit in the head for a living. I mean, you well, know, it's not they'd like be spilling secrets. Okay, he's like what the fourth best. Why would they want Ryan Garcia? He's not like number one. Yeah, what's he? What's he bringing to the table that they would even want him anyway? Exactly. I don't feel like he's probably oh, it's rich enough. I would say, like, the reach that he's got. He's got all of these followers. He's got a lot of people that look up to him. He's also young. Yeah, but I you still know? feel like a boxer, like, with how much they get hit in the head, like, he's going to probably losing it at some point and, like, <laughs> killing everybody something on accident. That's what I'd be thinking. Like, he would be a liability. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. I, I mean, guess. it's yeah. not like he's, like, a oh, current day Muhammad Ali or current day Mike Tyson. Well, yeah. you know, when Mike Tyson was in his prime. It's not like he's that big. He's not that mm. big, you know? It makes yeah. no sense. He's 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 on something. He's either having a mental break or he's on something. That's yeah. what I think, personally. Well, it doesn't stop there, guys. Oh, God. Because uh, <laughs> the next one he's got like a, a voice note that comes out just after this so uh yeah apparently now he's called elon musk the antichrist i mean I, I'm, let him cook <laughs> let him cook yeah <laughs> what what the heck no uh, that uh, just creeped me out so much for a second i thought i was going nuts okay hold on hold on i gotta do this all the way the whispers are back okay here we go <laughs> All praise Yeshua. I'm speaking in tongues. 
don't worry. Um, those who are prophets know, those who are priests know, those who are evangelists know that speaking in tongues is is real. But um, these things are happening. Praise to Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, he had a few points there. Mm. Bonnie. Bonnie. Stop it. <laughs> that part right there was a banger. <laughs> um, so, uh, Dom Lucro, which is like one of those um, sort of uh, conspiracy theorists sort of, of t- tweets, um, he uh, jumped into one of um, Ryan Garcia's um, uh, Twitter spaces. He's been doing a lot of these recently. Um, so he jumped in and asked him um, a few questions. Let that guy in, Don. Yeah, let him I in real quick. Let him in. Let him in. All right, Don. Bro, I hope everything all good. Thanks for having me up. I guess I'll just ask for the path of everyone. You, the rituals that you experienced, were they any religion that was attached to it that you believe that you could say? They're not, it was all about they were Satan. Satan satanic. What do you mean? They, they eat little kids. This is fucking sick, bro. Yeah, they're, 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 that's what this attached to. And I, I, I'm calling to all people that feel like they sold their soul. You can't sell your soul. The soul, I, I'm your lawyer. You can't sell your soul. What? Oh, my God. What is wrong? Okay, bro. I, I, need <laughs> you, I need you to get off social media. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because it never belonged to you. Nor does it belong to the dead, but it belongs to God. So remember, that contract is vetoed. I got y'all. It's vetoed. Hit me up. You're coming to the right side. Praise Jesus. I'm your lawyer today. Tell Satan, oh, wait, that wasn't my soul to give. My bad. We vetoed that yeah. shit. In other words, Ryan, you saying I'm it's kind of like a car, right? I sold their soul. Every single one of them. If you sold your soul and you're still alive and you're scared and you're feeling pressured by them and the devil, hit <laughs> me up. I got y'all. I'm going to defend y'all. I got y'all. It, I got y'all. Remember that. Love you guys. I got to go. It's 7 o'clock. My friend wants me to read Psalm 7326. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now he's, now he's God's lawyer. It's good on he's him. He's moving lawyer. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, a lot oh, of God, got... Candace Owens. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the story. That's it. We out. Oh, Have a great Lord. day. Thank you for coming to the... <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. I'm done. Oh, my God. So, yeah, a lot of people got added in a bunch of his responses and tweets and videos. And, uh, yeah, Candace Owens was one of them. So, like, this kept, like, coming up, like, in response to, like, to Ryan Garcia's tweets. So mm-hmm. I don't think it has much sort of relevance. She's just going on and saying how it is real and all that yeah, sort of it, stuff. Yeah, it and... looks like this person here hmm. is just tying in that video with everything that Ryan Garcia is saying. Because this is right. about this is about Balenciaga. That was like what that last was year like thing. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Alex Jones. Then this is like actually more Let's to the go. point. So if you yeah go to two fifty six which you're on, um, he wants to speak about this in his um, podcast too. Also, I'm going to be talking about a former champion, now the main contender, Ryan Garcia, who came out yesterday on a Spaces on on X uh, with Andrew Tate and others, and said that he was at Bohemian Grove and was tied down and forced to watch children being sexually assaulted. Now. We don't know if this is true or not, but I've listened. Yeah, no shit. Mm. Oh, God. It's funny when Alex Jones sounds like the voice of reason here, right? Like- yeah. <laughs> Listen to the entire spaces last night, and it sounds to me like he's having a mental breakdown. That- oh, my God. What world are we mm-hmm. living in when Alex I Jones? Know. It's like the same thing with the Kanye West thing. Literally, Alex Jones was the most sane person in the room when it came to that Kanye West interview he did. Yeah. It's crazy. It makes you want to. It makes you want to listen to him about the turning the frogs gay. Thing. Okay. Okay. He's just like, <laughs> if he's calling out stuff when he thinks it's, you know, this guy's crazy. Maybe he's telling the truth sometimes, and it's oh like maybe the frogs are gay. Bonnie. I don't know. Bonnie. <laughs> that said, I'm not saying that there isn't serious crimes that go on in and around Bohemian Grove. We have some historical evidence of that. Ted Gunderson talked about that. But also, if people are having a mental breakdown, we need to understand that because 
going with something that's not true will then discredit all the real research and the things that are going on. So I'm going to talk about Bohemian Grove. I'm going to talk about the latest infiltrations of Bohemian Grove and what Bohemian Grove really is. It's very sinister. It's a system of corruption. Richard Nixon talked about it, but most of the people that go to Bohemian Grove are not involved in Satanism. They're not involved in hurting children. But there is evidence that some of that goes on in and around that area, and there's a massive occultic system around the world, and Bohemian Grove is just one node or one major elite encampment. Okay. All right. I, I, I had <laughs> my fill of Alex Jones for the day. All right. Fair enough. So now uh, he comes out with a, a, his latest message to his fans. So here's, a, here's another message for you. Here to announce my return back to Instagram. Now, over these past couple of days, you guys have seen some pretty intense things. Why is he wearing a crown like Jesus? Yeah. Why is he wearing a crown of thorns? Oh my God. I cannot. Mm. Eva, where do you find these crazy? You and Bunny <laughs> find the craziest things to talk about. This is a rabbit hole, believe me. Yeah, this oh is getting my... good. Yeah, uh, uh, Bunny? <gasps> <gasps> okay. I understand what they are and I don't understand what they look like. But I'm coming back to announce. I'm not going to speak on any other topic other than boxing, sports, and my fight. That's the only thing I'm going to be talking about. And uh, I'm training for this fight. I want everybody to know this fight's still on. 420, five weeks of super focus. I have PBD helping me in this camp and many other warriors. So I thank you guys for the support. And I'll see you guys on 420. Mm, bro. How long is this going to last? Yeah. Okay. So this is in the same day. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Oh, wait. We've done that. That was one. March 6, 2024 at 5.45 p.m. All right. We've already this seen that already one. Been... That one was yeah. at 8.21. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. Okay. Ryan Garcia responds and speaks out again a few hours after Ryan Garcia went live and explained why he did what he did. The world's a satanic worship and it needs to be... Oh, my God. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me. There's a lot of eyes on me. And I'm bringing awareness for the kids. The little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even going to say the name. My why, it, last fight, was for my son Henry. I wanted to fight for him, and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. A lot of people. You got to understand the pressure <laughs> I have. Oh my god. I can't. Oh my I god. can't. I can't. No. This is so good. Oh, imagine doing like a TikTok live thing and all of a sudden all of these filters come on you when you're trying to be so oh, super serious about your yeah. company. Like what it's just. The... <laughs> I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What same world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity <laughs> for telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. So uh, now this one came oh. out very recently. Um, he seems to be hospitalized. Or something. So, um, Ryan Garcia, who is also known as King Ryan, just went live on TikTok again while hooked up to a machine. He goes on to talk about Project Bluebeam and goes in to say that Disney could be a part of a huge trafficking problem. After that, the live ends. So, this is a four part thing here. So, I'm not sure if you want to watch all of it. But I, um, I will say is... this it looks like he's in an oxygen bar because it's not going to be a facility with those kind of lights. 
That's what I was thinking. It looked like a really jazzed up like it, it, um, ambulance or something. But, it, like, it was he like, looks mm-hmm. like he's probably like in an oxygen bar because of those lights yeah. right there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. So which ones do you want to watch? So I watched this first one. I watched the first and second one. So. Ta- RJ, time time dilation. RJ, is it called time dilation? Okay, time dilation is a big study that's going on that they actually have proof if time travel. Can you bring it up? Yeah, in simple terms, time dilation- He is not my handler, he just was trying to protect me. Yeah, yeah, I'm the handler, guys. Time dilation, in simple terms, means that depending on how fast you're moving or how heavy the gravity is around you, your experience of time can be different from someone else's. This concept challenges our traditional understanding of time as a constant and introduces the idea that the time is relative and can bend under certain conditions. Look up Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. This has already been proven, and that's a form of time travel. That's what, that's what I was saying. That's oh just the theory God. of relativity. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was really saying is. the whole time he was talking. Wait a minute. This is already a thing. But okay. Yeah. Like the kids are just discovering Einstein, guys. This is yeah, we in learned that in like middle school. Yeah. <laughs> but here we go. Ask me any question, guys. I- I'm ready. I'm letting everything out now. It- it's done. I'm letting everything out. Uh, and everything is okay. This is... Bro. Now, you guys understand about the elites, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys something. They're puppets. Stop putting <laughs> elephant things on me, man. They have <laughs> their puppets underneath the devil, Satan. Remember, it says in the Bible, you're not wrestling against spirit. I mean, you're not, get, you're not wrestling against blood and humans. You're wrestling against spirits and principalities of authorities. So when you see the top, they may or may not know they're being controlled by the devil. But you know the ones that are at the top, everybody knows them by name. And what they're doing to kids and what they're doing to the, you know, they've, been, they've had all these things together for a long time. And now the truth is coming out. And that's why they're all going into hiding. The ones that are not living right are going to go into hiding. I guarantee that. Because they always wanted to spin me as the crazy one when I seen it. You are crazy. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I mm-mm. Myself, little kids being hurt, and I went and stand up for them, get my reputation. I've already said this, and now everybody's running away. You notice everybody's running away at this point. Every single person is running away. People are stepping down. People are, are, are removing themselves from the com- their companies. Come on now, the rapture is coming. Jesus is coming back. Oh, okay, you lost me. All right, Woo! next one. The rapture is coming, guys. Okay. It's a common. Project Blue Beam. Project Blue Beam is the fact that aliens are being slowly put out. Okay, I'm I'm speeding this quick because I've already said. Has he been talking to Keemstar? I know. Yeah, it seems like it. You know, Keemstar is all about that alien stuff. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This. He used to drive me crazy when he used to come up on my live streams, and then we would have a normal conversation about drama, and then all of a sudden Keemstar is talking about, like, aliens and conspiracy theories and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bored. Will you stop? It's his autistic special interest. Yes. Oh, tell you what, my <laughs> autistic special interest at the moment is, like, all the DEW stuff with the blue roofs and, like, everything that's, like, coming out about that. I'm bookmarking it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are you telling me we're gonna have a blue roof um special oh look it, it goes all the way back to freaking um maui like to mm-hmm. hawaii like like the 15 minute cities and all that sort of stuff like yeah every time there's a 15 minute city thing coming up there's always some sort of fire right where people try to acquire land dude it's a whole thing it's a whole thing i, I can get right into that if you want <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we're all a little bit crazy because I'm over here still waiting on John McAfee's Dead Man Switch. Like, I still feel like it's coming one day. Oh my god. Oh my god. On Instagram, you can check out the full live, but at the end of the day, Project Blue Beam is this. Why do you think they slowly started putting out aliens since Roswell? Because you can't handle the truth right away. It would have caused a great mass delusion or whatever, right? Just everybody would be chaotic. So they do slowly, and it's for a reason because it says in the Bible that there'll be a great delusion cast out on earth. What do you think that great? Oh my God! I can. Oh my God! <laughs> the delusion great delusion is, is, and is Ryan Garcia. Yeah, the great delusion is Ryan Garcia. You guys can pull up the verses. So the aliens. How do you think they trick everybody? When the rapture comes, beams of light brings up everybody, and everybody comes to Christ and goes with Christ to reign. Everybody left down is going to be casted with a great delusion. What do you think they're going to get tricked by? They're going to get tricked by that it was an alien abduction. Understand, this is happening in real time. You guys need to wake up, 
Who's involved? The people, the principalities, the powers that be, the ones that are setting it up, the ones that are releasing the footage. Listen to what I'm saying. It's happening. I don't. I told you guys about the rules of satanic worship. They, it needs to be in front of your face. Why do you think they put the stuff on Simpsons? Why do you think all the things are right in front of your face? But <laughs> nah, well, he's not wrong. Like those Simpsons episodes were pretty freaking gold, to be honest. You oh know, my like the God. stone the stone cutters, and you know. <laughs> I do not have patience for this. Oh my God! <laughs> Nobody is paying attention. They're like, there's no way that could be true. Come on now, think with your head. It's all in front of your face. Another thing, how many kids get abducted at Disneyland every year? 2,000, maybe more. You look up the facts. People don't want to hear it anymore. They auction off kids. I'm not saying Disney does, I'm just saying. They auction off kids. There's been a lot of horror. A lot of Disney stars going at it. Okay, is that fact true? Can we fact check that? Let's fact check that. All right, so. 2,000 kids missing Disney World. The real, cra well, real crazy conspiracy theory that this reminds me of is the t underground tunnel systems. There's this theory that, like, where a lot of the underground tunnel systems is where kids get kidnapped a lot. And, like, mm. I've seen maps of that, and it is pretty interesting. All right, so researchers at the University of Central Florida have studied the issue, and they've said that um, they've estimated that more than 100 kids go missing at Disney World every year. So it's it, the, the the average at each Disney World. So I'm, okay. I've got like different different reports here because there's also a statistic that's there saying that 46,000 children go missing every year in the United States alone. Okay, but that's the United Disney States World, World but Disney yeah, World. Yeah, the Disney World is the most dangerous where they go missing. So we're the most, we're the well, mostly going makes... missing. Okay, Since so the... how much is it normally for Disney World every year? It says um, 100 kids. All right, 100 is not 2,000. And if you think about mm. how many people go through Disney World, 100 is a small percentage. No oh, way, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and even if that number so... was higher, I mean, I'm sure Disney is a hot spot for people looking oh, to Oh, absolutely. Kids. Like, yeah. Think that, about that it. That number would be hot. Yeah, and it's probably a hot spot for people who think nefariously towards yeah. children. Oh. Mm. It would be yeah, make exactly. sense for them to work there, too. I mean, so, yeah. I just found another figure. What's an NCMEC? Does anyone know what that is? I have is? no idea. Okay, so that former study was right, but I'm going to look up who this is because they estimate, oh, yeah, the National Center for Missing Children and Missing and Exploited Children. They estimate 2,000. Okay. So, so that fact is, is correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Well, damn. Wow. There you go. He's, he's back. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. themselves. This is not... This is not by chance, okay? This is all happening in real time, and no, and us together, we're the, we are the generation to stand up for. But even two thousand is still a small percentage. I mean, it's a lot of kids, and I don't want any kid yeah. being abducted. Don't yeah. get me wrong, and I'm not, I'm not, believe me, but still, two thousand would still be a Yay. small percentage of the people that are going in Disney World. Exactly. Yeah. Every year, so. For the kids and to bring go. Yeah, yeah, two thousand more than what yeah. should be though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This down. To bring this down now. Yes, they are bringing out even discovery rap. Yes, that just happened. Okay. <laughs> to bring this down now. Yes, they are bringing out even discovery rap. Yes, that just happened. I need more. Is cloning real? There's a lot of ways that they could go about it. So we Trust can just me. skip over this because I think he just keeps going into different conspiracies. Like he started going back. Yeah, to that's what it looks all like. Other stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he, he just he's all over the shop with all these figures and what's happening and yeah. So recently he also um did uh a spaces yesterday, literally just about God and that was the the last appearance that um I've seen of him. So. Obviously, he didn't stand by his um, thing saying that he was not going to talk about this anymore. He was going to focus on boxing and all that sort of stuff. It literally just opened up a whole new can of words for him and, like, he just kept going and going. So my question is, like, is, is Ryan Garcia okay? I don't like, think he is. 
I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah. I don't think he is. I think he could be having a long running manic episode or he is yeah. on some drugs. My guess, yeah, yeah. my guess though, it's not drugs. My guess is actually the manic episode. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what it seems like. Because, because it's, they, well, if you go back to what the wife said, he he may seem fine, but he's not. Yeah. I think she was actually trying to say he's having a manic episode without saying that he's having a manic episode. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, uh, hold on, um, this is not a troll. I'm generally concerned, and so is all his family members. We are not part of any of this and want him to get better. To get better, I, I feel like it's a manic episode. Mm. Yeah. Because it was, um, he's yeah. saying some crazy Oh yeah, it's 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 so out there about the elite rituals and about watching kids getting R worded and all this sort of stuff. It's it's, it's very very out there. Um, there there was um, a, a video that I did see, which I can't find the link for. I know I saw it, and I went to go back and find it, and it just it's just totally gone. Mm -hmm. um, and he was sitting there with what seemed like like a mentor or a coach or someone that helps him with this sort of stuff. And he was there saying, "I have not been in any drugs. I have not done this. I have not done that. I have not been drinking. I have not been smoking. I have been doing this, doing that. So all of this means I'm, I'm of sound mind." Um, I am not no, doing this. No, that means then, and, you're going yeah. through a manic episode and it's not drugs. That's what yeah, that means. Yeah. yeah. So he's, uh, yeah, he's putting himself through it. But then also, like, there's been a lot of, like, conspiracy drummed up about it everything else surrounding it. So, like, I don't know whether it's just sort of, like, digging up stuff for the sake of it for, like, maybe, like, you know, drumming up a fight or whether he's really, it's just mental illness. Yeah. You know, yeah. like... Yeah, so, I think psychosis be. mixed with conspiracy theories is just a dangerous cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's that rabbit, Ryan Garcia rabbit hole for you. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> that was fun. He is off his rocker. He is, yeah. Like, you know, he's going down the way of Kanye in a way. Yes! Um, that's who it reminds me of. It reminds me of Kanye. Hmm. That's exactly who it reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Now it? he's going to go get a girl and he's going to make her dress half naked and barefoot walking through stores and stuff. I'm telling you, he's going down the Kanye route. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And he was saying he's got the complete like Epstein flight list and everything. Like he's, he knows who was on those flights and like he, he's just going into every single, every single conspiracy he could think of. And he's like trying to tie it all together. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's Poor dude. Good. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, if you if you uh if you think that he's actually onto something, let us know. I was about uh, to say there's, a, there's still a sliver of a chance that he's telling the truth and everything he's saying is right. Yeah, and then you know it could be all proven <laughs> wrong eventually down the line. You know, you never like, know. Ryan, Ryan Garcia yeah. was right. It's going to come out of our mouths eventually. <laughs> yeah. so, oh my god. Boy, boy. <laughs> so yeah, Them let frogs us are know. Gay, though. That, the frogs are definitely gay. They drink in the water. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Gay potion. Three. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's all I've got for you so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it it's was gonna interesting. Keep on going, but yeah, it's definitely yeah. something that's a little bit wild and going out there. But um, I thought like it was a bit of a yeah, bit of an interesting rabbit hole for us to go down today. So yeah, yeah. it definitely was. Uh, uh, yeah. I because when you were putting that up there, that. and I was just like kind of skimming through it in the on the mm. channel that you put all the stuff in and i'm like what the hell is this <laughs> and now i know and i don't know if my life is better or worse that i know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god eva okay well that was interesting yes um uh, <sighs> yes yeah, so let us know down in the comments uh should we just let ryan cook or <laughs> is ryan cooked <laughs> <laughs> True. Is he cooked or should he keep cooking? <laughs> I bet you, Bunny. I, I tell you right now, this is Bunny's thought. He should keep cooking. Bunny, yeah, only time stuff. will tell. Oh my God, Bunny. <laughs> All right, Eva, take us out. All right. Well, thank you for watching the broadcast. Um, subscribe, comment down below, please like, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Say goodbye, ladies. Bye, goodbye, ladies. Bye. It's the gay frogs. <laughs>